I have been exposed to the beauty of different African countries, but to be honest, yeah, Harare is a discovery. All the way from Bontu to Ziatunga, but in the city centre, eh, Harare. Listen, I've been to 25 countries in Africa and I've never seen anything like this before. This okay. building uh -huh. is naturally air conditioned. In fact, mm -hmm. are you feeling the coldness right now? Yeah. No, I feel cold. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. It's cooler at the bottom and then it gets warmer as you climb up the top. And um, as far as I know, it actually can capacitate about 450 cars in terms of what? parking and then also um, offices are over that. But what can be found in here? It looks like a shopping mall. Yeah, yes, it is. It's a shopping it mall. Yeah. It also has uh, offices around yeah. and uh, food places as well. And before I left for the UK, there was actually a shop that sold uh, Apple computers. That's what really caught my eye. It was right at the corner there, but I'm pretty sure now that has changed. No, things have changed. Maybe you can go and check it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I need to go in because I feel like they want to come along with me. I have never seen anything like this before. And thank you guys so much for telling me. And I think I need to educate you all. Let's take a walk. We need a mall, Let's yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Also very interesting about uh, this building is it's based on um, termites mount which means it cools itself so it's quite interesting that uh, using nature to inspire the building so this is one of the, uh, the buildings that I think is very very important especially here in Zimbabwe uh, when you talk about green and going green and not using a lot of energy so you can imagine how many air conditioning uh, units would need to use to cool down this building but it's all being done naturally I read on the internet that this country is a multi-currency nation. Yeah. Which means you can use a dollar here. Uh -huh. You can also use a Zimbabwean dollar. Yeah. What else again do you guys trade with? As far as using pullers, as far as using rands, especially in Matebeleland. Matebeleland is the other province. That is Bulawayo, Gwanda, and all those other. So, so does know. it mean that when I'm walking in the street of um, Harare and I want to buy anything, I need to use, I can use dollars? Yeah, yeah. you can use the American dollars. You can use the Zimbabwean dollars as well if you have cash. Wow. In Echo Cash as well, we do have the mobile money. Echo the mobile cash. money? Yeah. Oh, okay, can we buy something from her? Yeah, absolutely, we can. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> uh, how are you? How much is this? Ha! Huh, there's nothing. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> uh, I want this, I want this. I thought this is the, what I'm buying, but no, I show it, you. It, this is more like it's advertising. Advertising? This is what is available in this tiny truck. Can you give me something like this? <laughs> Not this one. It's empty. <laughs> How much is it? This is 350 is a bond. Yeah. 350 bond. bond. And yeah. how much is that in dollars? In dollars. It's 70 cents. 70 cents. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I'll give you one dollar. That's the only money that I have. Zimbabwe made me broke, though. <laughs> See, look at look at whole me. Eh? I owe you one dollar. Huh? <laughs> one dollar. Ah. <laughs> have it then. Thank you. You're welcome. But, <laughs> Actually, I, but can I also pay in Zimbabwean currency? Yeah, three hundred and fifty, right? So, but so what, what if I, I had rant? We should take it. No, here normally rants here in Arabia. You don't no, want rants? South here. African rants? No. How many? I, I have hundred rants. You want what? I give you rant. For this. Yeah. You good? You see? <laughs> what about Pula? Pullers, are, are you familiar? Ah, no. Pula, no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but is it affordable to live in Harare? It is actually because I think it depends with what you Keep enjoy it. and what you love and 
if you love high-end things, you can go there and find them. If you love, like for example, I can tell you Mbare. Mbare is the best place to find the most affordable things. Wow. You can even order bells. You can, you know, people that do thrifting, vegetables in Mbare, mm. all the traditional vegetables from the farms, they are there. But if you want to find them in another area where the markets are a, a bit of a high-end kind of like markets, you can as well go there at a higher price as well. You know, so you can live in Harare actually. That's uh, why. I, I, I want to live at Mbari. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's close by. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I want affordable things. <laughs> have to pay for another ticket? Yeah. Imagine. Just, just 10 minutes I've been parked here. Let's nice. look for the guy. So every 10 minutes you have to pay or it has to be an hour. At this one and, we, and one ticket is for the whole, the whole city in a day. Exactly. It's supposed to be like that. I'm confused. <laughs> let, let, let's look for the guy. Hey, I've been there. I've been there. What's he? Hey, you can tell me you're going to get to the same. You're going to pay tickets. You're going to pay one Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it mean every one hour I need to pay a dollar? Every hour you have to pay a dollar. And if you don't pay, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So now I've just paid for another, another hour. So you can't spend 24 hours hmm? in the city? Yeah, that's a very, very good question. Uh, you can't spend 24, 24 hours. hours in the city. You go up at one. 24 dollars. Oh, well, 8 hours per day. Put 8 hours a day. How yeah. much is that? 8 dollars. 8 dollars. Oh. 8 mean, dollars a day in town? Yes. <laughs> 3,200 uh, 3, 3, pounds. You have a lot of money. Have, you have uh, a lot of money. Yeah. Wow. 200 per hour. And jumping after him down. <laughs> So as a Zimbabwean diaspora returning back to Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. if you have a message for the 4 million Zimbabwe living abroad, what would that message be? Uh, the message would be, uh, there's a lot of negativity around. So I would say experience Zimbabwe yourself with an open mind. Because sometimes experiencing Zimbabwe with, uh, with, uh, with someone else's vision or someone else's thoughts doesn't work. And, and uh, that was the case with me as well. I used to hear a lot of negative things about uh, about Zimbabwe. So I would say to anyone out there, just come here, experience it with an open mind. I would say that's the most important thing. Uh, that way, you will start seeing the country from a true perspective of your lens. Welcome to Zimbabwe and enjoy Harari. Thank you. Are you guys not hungry? <laughs> I'm super hungry. No, I'm, I'm so hungry, man. I can I... tell from his face this guy is looks tired. So you know, Me, I'm, who this guy? Yes, he is. No, he's not tired. Are you sure? No, no, no. It's hunger. <laughs> he will not even talk to you. Let him eat, eh? He will tell you the and best then... joke wow. in the entire world, man. I'm... So, so you know what? You're I'm hungry. So hungry, man. You're hungry. No, but for me. I'm hungry, yeah, but since I came to this country, mm -hmm. the kind of food that I see, chicken in, chicken republic, mm -hmm. chicken this, chicken pizza that, in. pizza in. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Okay, you know what? Why don't we do traditional meal? Huh? Let's do a traditional meal. No, that would oh. be fantastic. Yes, let's do a traditional meal. But if you're doing traditional meal, I, I want more local place, not too fancy. Yes, I know a, a place. A place that... When I give them my money, I know that I'm supporting their businesses. I know a place. Let's do it. Hmm? Leave that to me. I know a place we, we can, where we can go to. Fantastic, man. Bro, I'm so hungry, man. But Jeez. you know what? Whatever I'm going to order for you guys, you have to eat this. It. It's local. Okay. okay? It's traditional. See. And it's local. But you, know but you have to eat it. Do you know my slogan? What's your slogan? Food over women. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, 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 let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Yeah, I, I think food over women. Because even if you have a woman in front of you and you have to make sure she's okay, you have to eat before you. Uh, you know, a way to a man's heart 
it's through his stomach. Is that true? It's hundred percent true for me. <laughs> it's true, it's on any see, I, I see my cheeks. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if you don't feed me, you're killing me. <laughs> you have to promise me one thing. What is it? You have to eat everything. No, I will finish it. What is Even if I don't finish it, yeah? I'll put it in my pocket and I'll take it home. Okay, deal. <laughs> <laughs> but what is the main dish in this country now? Saza. Saza? Yes. It's a uh, maize meal. Okay. Yeah, I think you cook it like... Um, it's like it's made from maize powder. Maize powder. Yes, so they boil it and then, and then it's, it becomes a solid. So we eat that with uh, meat, vegetables. So that's our main sort of uh, starch base. Okay. Yes. So you guys don't have fufu here? I think that's it's similar to fufu. What, what is fufu? What, I mean, what's the fufu, ingredient? Fufu, we use um, cassava and then plantain. Right. And then we pound them together. Right. Yeah, Nigerians use pounded yam. Mm -hmm. That is their fufu. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So so, yeah. but if you say maize flour, yes. for me, I'll say it's equivalent to banku in Ghana. Okay, now, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure when you see it, you'll know exactly what it is. Okay, so this is it. We're almost there. Bro, are we coming, are we coming to eat those stones, man? No, 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 no. Check this oh, out. Wow, they are carving this stones. This is amazing stuff. Look at that. Whoa. This is authentic art. Well, you guys have a lot of rocks in the country. Oh, yeah. I mean, Zimbabwe is the land of stones. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of them. Granite. So let me show you more inside. Okay. The finished product. Wow. Is that where the food is? Please, I just want to know that. Yes. Is it the same place this, the food is? Yeah, this is the same place where thank, the food thank is. Thank you. That's so, what I want to know. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking, man. I'm so hungry. But I'm seeing this beautiful carved um, from... It's a beautiful what? Carved art? Stone carvings. Stone carving? See, yes. I, when I'm hungry, I confuse what. <laughs> Are we really going to see the calf stones, please? Oh, come on, I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> you know, this is the things that I do for you guys, man. You, you see, this is what I always tell you. Whenever you watch a video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos to friends and family. Because I've been out the whole day filming and I've not even eaten. I, I'm definitely sure I'm going to finish all the brown sauce today. But you know what? You just come along. Let me show you a bit of the what? Uh, what, what is the word again? Stone carving. Stone carving. Oh my god. And it's so smooth. <laughs> you you <laughs> even feel the rocky surface, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This is made by Africans. Made by Africans in Africa. Talented. You're so intelligent, man. I don't know what is happening to our continent. Why don't we use the brain that we have to develop this continent like if an african can do this what else can we not do like when i went to great zimbabwe it was built by africans the pyramid built by africans oh Amazing. my goodness as africans we need to buy made in africa goods yeah it's a way of improving our economy if the money stays in africa i mean we use the money to develop africa yes now let's go. Do, let's do the food. Ah, please, let's go. Hi. Right, tell you. I love this place, though. Huh? What, what did she say? It's like, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm hungry. <laughs> how do you? How do I say I'm hungry in? Dinen Zara. <laughs> and, and I want to eat. Before I finish that, I'll faint, man. Let me go for the food first. Yeah. Please. Hi. That's what food. Right. No Saza. Okay. 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 
What sort of white? We have white Saza. White Saza? Yes. No brown Saza? No. What do you have? Do you have Mbuzi? This makes you the real African. Make sure right, you let eat. me help you out. Did you get Make some soap? Yeah, I got some soap. Okay. Make sure you eat with your hands. I've seen comments like why do Africans yeah, yeah, yeah. eat with our hands? <laughs> you know, before the person who invented fork and knife, God invented this one. You are born with it. Naturally. Naturally. It's cheap. We don't have to pay anything. Exactly. All you need to do is to make sure you wash it <laughs> with soap and water. What is on the table right now? Okay, so what's on the table right now is, this one here is salsa. This is the white maize meal. Okay. Okay. And this is rice with peanut butter. What? Yes. It's very nice. No. This is Let not my rice explain. peanut butter. Oh my this goodness. Is, this our is village yeah. rice. Our village rice? Village. Yeah. From the village? Yes. Wow. So you, you, which means it's produced in Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love things made in Africa, so I think I like it. Okay. Saga <laughs> Yeah, it's mixed with peanut butter. Peanut butter. It was white rice. Okay. But was this mixed with peanut butter? This one is mixed with peanut butter. But how can you mix rice with peanut butter? But it's nice. Look, uh, look, he's eating it. Look at it. He's enjoying it. So not tradition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm Come sorry. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I've never seen because you know we have rice also made the same way. Mm. Then we have peanut butter soup. Peanut butter yeah. soup? Oh, you are shocked! <laughs> <laughs> you are shocked! Right soup. Like soup. Like peanut butter soup. Oh, just just, like, just like this, mm. but peanut butter. Mm. Then we put pepper, onion, everything peanut within butter. tomatoes and everything. Then you eat with your with rice, rice balls. So we call it rice balls, yeah? So you pour the peanut butter. So right now, he, do, he doesn't need any soup. Already because they because he eating butter. rice and peanut butter soup, because right? He's enjoying it. Ah, yeah. me, I need to take <laughs> off my clothes. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Go in, yummy. Eat. Right. Goat and beef mix. Goat and beef. Yeah, but this one I know. Because you see, I'm a farmer, chicken farmer. Yeah. So this one here is that original it's chicken. Aggressive. You know? I'm so yeah. aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, you, did you pray? Oh, sorry. Yeah, heavenly Who is the Christian here? All of us. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food that you've given us. May it nourish our bodies and may we have it all the time that we need it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 <laughs> huh? Wow, this is different. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, 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 no, I'm left handed. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the hand that I use. You will be slapped in Ghana. Really? I'm telling you. Now I know. Really? Why? So. In our culture, it's a taboo to touch food with your left hand. Like, as you're doing this, I need to walk away. But I'm going to forgive you because you don't know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, for yeah. the first time, you need to try eating with, with your, your right, right hand. hand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, Guys, no. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Can't. You can't. Mm -mm. I'm not used to it. You know, if you go to Ghana and you act like that, no, you can't. No, now, now you told me. So no, okay. no, no, no. Don't say you can't. You can. You had the goat meat is tasty, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Goat meat never disappoint. This is why I always tell you choose food over women. <laughs> <laughs> women disappoint. <laughs> have you ever had broken heart before? Mm -mm. That's why I'm saying food over, over women. I had broken heart in 2017. So. So how about we make a deal? I'll come to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I'll taste your food. Trust me, if you mm -hmm. eat food in Ghana, mm -hmm. you will not want to eat any food in this world again. Are you sure? <laughs> really? I'm telling you. Is the Ghana job? We've got, we got so many staple foods mm -hmm. to try. Like if this is Ghana, we would have had 10 different staple food on the table. Ten different. Wow. And you can find that at one restaurant, wherever you go, wherever everywhere. you go. Everywhere. Nice. And you know, like, we sell everywhere. 
Mm -hmm. So even if you don't want to go to a restaurant, you might get food at the roadside. The same food that you're looking for in the restaurant. So those at the roadside even cooks it better. So tell me something. Mm. Taste-wise, what do you think about I mean uh, the food so far? No. To be honest, I don't even know why you guys are allowing me to talk. Because I don't want to talk. <laughs> you wanna eat and enjoy the food. I just wanna enjoy my food. <laughs> because the food is so good. Literally I was not expecting anything like this. No. Because sometimes when you travel, ah. mm -hmm. different meals from different countries. Yes. It is quite different. That sometimes you don't even want to swallow. Mm -hmm. But this one. But but you know what I can't eat? What? I'll tell you in advance before I come to uh, to Ghana. What? Uh -huh. Snails and o o okra. Oh, snails. Do you eat snails? We eat snails and we eat okra. Mm -mm. You see, those ones they have to be excluded. I've had that meal. That's before. the best meal, though. No, mm -mm. it is mm -mm. actually not, it's nice. You see, with this, mm -hmm. if I had okra. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be chewing this. You need to swallow it. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who, who colonized you guys, man? The British? The British. For how long? Up to 1980. Ah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's what? why. In Ghana, we had our independent 1957. 1950. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started cooking our own food. That's why you guys don't have varieties of food. I, uh, you know you're going to be in more. In you know you're country, going to be in more places than me. And I'm too open to try everything. Uh -huh. After this food, please take me to another place to get fill my stomach because now I don't want to fill my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fill it. Okay, I'm thinking now where else we could go. But, I wanted to find out something. Mm. Is the Ghana jollof rice better than the Nigerian jollof rice? Let them judge in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Ghana jollof rice better than the Nigerian jollof? I have no idea about that. I'm a neutral guy. But Only for today. But you see, all the Ghanaians are going to say Ghana. Ghana, exactly. <laughs> so now, who has the biggest population? Ghana. But most of Nigerians also say Ghana. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, if you've been to Kenya, mm -hmm. it feels like I've eaten Ugali and Skuma Week. So Kenyans in the house, let me know. Is this not Skuma Wiki? <laughs> I think it's Skuma Wiki. How do you guys call this green stuff? This is Tsunga apparently when I asked. Mm -hmm. Tsunga, it's a, it's, a, it's a delicate vegetable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, in Harare. You said if you don't finish eating the food, you can't go. Yes, you can't go. But this is almost done. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy, yeah. Because I, I, don't, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I put this in my pocket. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Yeah, but you know. We made a I, promise to the camera, you yeah, know? Yeah, but I told you that for here I'm just eating half filled. Mm -hmm. And then I'll add the rest, you know. In a different place. Extra meat as snacks. <laughs> just to fill the stomach. <laughs> so Zimbabweans, I just want to say you got the best food in Africa. I mean, this is my first time tasting an authentic Zimbabwe meal. And I would love to do this over and over again. But I'm not done. This is first face. I'll get to you guys when I get to the second phase. Don't be jealous. I'm sorry. You are even lucky I'm eating in front of you. But anyway, <laughs> I, I love you guys, man. Just, just, just open your mouth. I love you guys. <laughs> Before I give you, have you liked the video? Have you shared it? They have to like it. Have you subscribed? Take it. Open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>